Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much to my subscribers. Welcome newcomers. I hope you like what you see and if so, be part of this journey by hitting that subscription button and the bell notification. Thank you so much for all your comments. Your thumbs up is very important to circulate the video. Thank you. And for your suggestions and below in the description box, there's also my um, Instagram. You can follow me through there. And if you're creating some of these pieces off my channel, send me a picture and I'll do a video with your name, whatever name you want to use and the country you're from. So the world can see your creations too. We're going to create another doily plate mat. If you want to use it as a plate mat Christmas, because Christmas is near and a lot of people are demanding well, demanding a high demand on the Christmas doily. Now, my camera does not give justice to these colors. It's horrible, but I try my best. So we're going to use four ply. This is a deep red, as you can see. 100% cotton. We're going to use this forest green. 80% cotton, 20 fiber. And also the cream beige. Also 80% cotton, 20 fiber but they're all four ply the only difference is this four ply is thicker as you can see i don't know if you can see well on camera it's a little bit thicker than the regular little cone okay which just perfect for this type of doily so we're going to get started this is very easy very simple very fast and very economic um i probably used i don't know um less than 50 grams probably 30 grams or 25 grams of the beige color i've used maybe 15 of the green and probably another 15 of the red so we're going to get started people thank you so much again everyone please share the video on your facebook public to your friends and family it does help to bring other people into the channel and to recognize my art creations these are my creations my design so i hope you like it enjoy it and create it thank you so much everyone we're going to get started oh by the way before i forget so i'll be using hook number three a um, pair of scissors of course and a small one to tuck in loose ends okay so we're going to start off by doing the magic circle which is just turning Grab your thread from behind and I'm not made a mistake. I'm not going to use number three on this. I'll use number three on the green and on the red. I'm using a 3.5. On this magic circle okay so chain one and this is a little bit hard to work with this thread if you don't have the right hook because there's so many um, threads together that it keeps splitting up so inside of this magic circle I'm going to have 12 double crochets that's including with the three chains we run up I also want to mention if the video is too fast for you, just right up top, there's three little buttons on the right. Click there, slow down the video to your liking. And if you are more of a pattern reader and you have a hard time with the video, you can slow down the video. You have the CC, the closed caption up top, which says CC. Click on there and it's going to show the letters so you can... Uh, read, take notes, and take it from there. Much easier for you. I'm going to have to put uh, the black towel here. Since this is like beige color, it's kind of hard to see the stitch on the white. So I like to use these two um, towels. So the stitch can, can be seen properly. Okay, so we're going to do 12 double crochets inside of this magic circle and this is going to be very simple trust me people very easy a beginner can do this with their eyes closed big shout out to my girl uh, betty and charmaine my two beautiful karens karen young karen coffee uh lily ella um nancy strand um my goodness lucy um nancy um 
another Nancy. There's two Nancys. Uh, my God, the list goes on. But much, much uh, hugs, much love to you guys, okay? Okay, so we've done the 12 double crochets. Also a reminder, people, you can use whatever color you'd like. Not necessarily did you, ha you have to use these Christmas colors. It's beautiful in other colors, too. Like the cream, the green, the purples, the lilacs, uh, you name it. It's just gorgeous. Okay, so we're going to come where we did the three chain. And right off top on the third one, we're going to close it in with slip stitch. Okay, so pretty much have it all closed in. If you're still having a hard time with the circle, then do um, four uh, chain and close it in with the slip stitch. Okay, so we're going up one, two, two chain. For some of you, three, okay? Because you're some of you are extremely tight. So on the next uh, space, we're going to do, actually wrong, on the same space, we're going to do another double crochet. So this row is going to be all the way around two double crochets per space, okay? So many times I have... Um, Many times I've done this pattern, but with different designs. So, you know, this is not new to a lot of you's because I've used this uh, beginning pattern with other designs. That they're all on, on placemats and all that. Doilies, they're all on my uh, playlist under the doilies. So as you see, you know, it splits a bit. I don't have the right hook for this, so I'm trying to work with this one. See, you know do whatever I can do for it. So we're going to do two double crochets per space. And we're going to come to the end and close it up on the third space with a slip stitch. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so we're going to do one, two, for some of you, three chains further. The next space, we're going to do two together. Two double crochet on the same space okay so this row is going to be always one alone and then the next space two double crochet together so simple and it's going to continue to increase like that for the next 10 rows that means that this row it's one alone, the next row is two alone, the next row is three alone, the next row is four alone. But anyway, so one double crochet, next space, two double crochets on the same space. Like that, okay? So I'll meet you at the end with a slip stitch. Okay, so I finished row number three finished with my two and slip stitched into my first one again one two chain for some of you three so next space now this time we're gonna have two alone so right now I have two alone another trick is to make sure that you're not getting mistaken you see where we have the two together so you know on your second one not the first one but on the second one is where you have to add the two together again. So automatically, you have your two alone, your two together. Next space, one alone. Next space, one alone. And if you see it properly, it falls, you know, the two alone comes right on top, the second one on top of the first double crochet where we have the group of two together. And now the next one, we're going to add two together on the second one. So at least you know that you won't um, make a mistake. You can't go wrong if you look at it this way. Okay. So on your second, where you have your groups, you're going to add your two. So there is no errors made whatsoever. It's just nearly impossible, not unless... You made a mistake if you don't fit into the proper uh, column where the two together, again, as you see, two alone. So my second one is on top of the first from the groove from the previous row. 
into the second one I'm putting two together and so you always have the right amount by having um, so we started with one next space one so we have two alone where the group is we put two together next space one alone one alone where the group is two together one alone one alone where the group is two together and it's always it always ends up on the second one of the group okay so I'll meet you at the end okay I'm almost at the end and as you can see I have my two alone and it ends up just perfect there's no air with it so two together and of course we started with chain three which is one and then the next one is one alone so you'd come and of course my stitch is always extremely tight and close it up with slip stitch again going up one two and three or two for some and do two and now we're gonna have three alone so next space Yeah, make sure I grab all these threads properly or else they're not gonna look not gonna look good. Okay, next space. So now we have three alone. And if you realize we fell the third one on top of the group from the previous row, as you can see there. So you know that the second one is where you have to add the two together so you can't go wrong on this pattern if you follow properly and you have the right amount at the beginning to start with okay so so we started with two together in each space actually we started with 12 and then two together in all the spaces and then row three two together one alone two together one alone row four two together two alone two together two alone row five two together and we're gonna have three alone one two three and then on your second one where the group is you add your two together now we're gonna do of course depending upon you um, what are you using this for? If you're using this for a table runner, tablecloth, you could even do a tablecloth out of it. You just have to keep adding on the rows or plate mat or doily for any decoration. Um, so you measure, you know, whatever area that you, you create and then set it down on the area that you would like it to display and see if it's a good size for you. You can go smaller, you can go big, you can go medium, whatever size you want. I have um, 10 rows, so I am going to do my 10 rows the same way, exact same thing, you just keep increasing. So this is three alone, the next row is four alone, the next row is five alone, the next row is six alone, and you know you always add the two where the groups are. So on the second one, of course, not the first one, but on the second one. So I'm going to cut my thread after I complete my 10 rows, okay? So counting from the first row, one, two, three, four, until my 10 row. That's what I have on there. And then I'll come back to you after my 10th row so we can start with the green, okay? Okay, everyone, so I pretty much did up until row 10. I'm just going to tuck in my loose string back here from the magic circle very simple grab a smaller hook not too small like myself i never learned my lesson i'm just so used to doing the same way for so many years but this is not good because this hook is too small it just brings all the strings apart but anyway that's just me you know You'd think I'd learned by now not to do this, to use a bigger hook, but anyway. Sometimes stubbornness, right? So 
So just go through the uh, little loops in the back. I don't like a bigger hook because it make it pokes those holes through it and I don't I don't like it. But should use a, a bigger hook for this, not this small one because it's too small for this type of tucking in in the back. But anyway, a few times here and there. And you're good to go. Let me just fix it up a bit. Okay, we're going into the green now. Okay, so slip stitch knot. It doesn't matter anywhere on these. Okay, so I'm going to grab anywhere. I'm going to grab where the group is. I'm going to do a single. Try to hide my thread at the same time. And I'm going to go up chain five. One, two, three, four, and five on the same space. Double crochet. So you're going to have like a little V. One chain. We're going to skip one, two, three on the fourth space. Do not tie up too much or it's going to pull too much together chain three. We're creating little V's, so inside of the same space, double crochet. One, whoops, one chain, one, two, three, on the fourth space again, we're going to do another double crochet, and one, two, three chain. On the, on the same space, another double crochet chain one don't tighten it up too much one two three on the fourth space if your stitch is extremely tight then you need to do a two chain because you don't want it to be pulling it like that okay it's got to be comfortable one two three chain and God knows I do have a tight stitch, so I'm really loosening it up. One, two, three on the fourth space. And one, two, three chain again on the same space. Another double crochet. So we're going to do this all the way around. Separation one chain for some of you too, because you're too tight. And three chain in. Um, in the middle here of the V. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so we're near the end. Now what happens at the end? If I close this one into a V, I have one, two, three, four space. That means I would be locking in on the fifth, which is too, um, too wide. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create an extra one. So that means I'm gonna skip only one, two on the third one. Okay. I'm going to do my regular double crochet, my three chain, and come back on the same one. Okay, and then one chain, and then again, one, two, on the third one. So the last two Vs, you're going to skip only two space, and you're going to create your double crochet on the third space. Okay, so you're only going to skip two. Put on the third, because then you'll have... Um, the right amount not too wide going into into the space here okay and it doesn't change anything even um, my other pattern was the same way so now you can cut your thread we've closed in a slip stitch on the third space there then you can just go through some of the loops here because they're going to be hidden anyway with the red so 
normally I'd make a knot, but because this is going to hide it, it makes no difference. So here's the green. We're going to go in with the red now. So slip stitch knot. I'm coming into any V. It doesn't matter where. And inside of this V, I am going to do a single. Chain two, that would be like a double crochet, and five more. So we're going to have a total of six double crochets inside of the V. Three, four, five, and my sixth one. I'm going to do one chain, uh, one chain, no, sorry, no chain, or was it, I can't even remember, no, no chain, okay, so we got our sixth, I'm coming in where the space between the V's are, and I'm closing in with a single, and again, coming into the V, the next V, create your double crochet, six times again so this whole row very simple as you see it's only doing double crochet six times inside of the v's two four five one more and six so now i've done my six double crochets i'm coming in between where the v is and i'm doing a single now this is perfect too if you just want to leave it just like that Makes a beautiful doily uh, also. So into the next one and create your six, two, four, five, and your sixth one. And then in between the space of the V, single. Now like I said, my camera's not doing justice, but look how beautiful that looks, just like that alone. Okay, so continue yours, and I'll continue mine until the end. Okay, everyone, so I pretty much finished doing the red. Well, this row, we have another row of red. But look how beautiful it is just with this just alone. You don't even have to do anything else to it. That itself is one gorgeous pattern. Okay, so... I had to adapt more thread into my thread. So I've closed in here with the slip stitch. I'm going to do um, two chain. And we're going to continue on top of the double crochet from the previous row. We're going to continue to do double crochet. So you're going to have your six double crochet just this, uh, just the same on the second row. I'm trying to hide my thread here that I had to adapt. So we have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and then we're coming into where we have the single, and we're going to do a slip stitch. Okay, so we've closed in with a slip stitch where we have the single, and then we're just going to do the six double crochets. This whole row will be the same way like this, so not complicated at all. Just double crochets and one slip stitch in between them where the single is in between the flowers here. And then you come in where the single is and you do a slip stitch on them. Don't tighten it too much so it doesn't start curving too much. For some of you that have a very uh, tight stitch, give it a nice Loosage, not baggy, but loose enough. You know what I mean. Okay, 
Okay, so we've done the six double crochets over double crochet from the previous row. We're going to come in where the single is and slip stitch and don't tighten it too much. Make it enough loose that you see when, when they start curving like this because it's, it's tight, but it's going to get fixed on the next row. It's only these two. So, and then again, the same thing. Double crochet and give it a nice stretch from here so it doesn't bend. So you stretch your, your thread a bit on the needle. And then we have one more row after this, which is the last row. And one slip stitch. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so I pretty much finished doing the red. And my camera doesn't do justice, but it's a very bright red. So I'm going to go into the green. And this is the last row. So slip stitch knot. I'm going to come in where we have the slip stitch here on the single in between the groups. And I'm going to do a single. Now we're going to do double triple. That means turning once twice. If your your stitch is too tight, then you need to do three because you have to have the same length from here to here. So we're going to come in where the green down here is. Very simple. Turn your pattern a bit and give it a good stretch. Don't tighten too much. Give it a good stretch so it can have the same height here. Now the first double crochet that we that we did here we're going to come in on the first double crochet and close it in with a single that's one single two single and three single now on the third single we're going to do one two three chain coming in we're doing peacock coming in to the first single that we went up and we're going to do a slip stitch on it next space single, two single, and three single. So you're going to have the three single here and three single on this side. So your peacock can be right on the center. And again, we're going to turn twice. We're going to come into the screen one here now. And we're going to give it a nice little stretch. Take out two, take out two, and take out the last two. You're going to come where you have your your, your slip stitch here that we did, single. So now you have your first one created. This is very, very simple. Again, turn twice, come into the next one. Just give it a nice stretch. One, two, and three. You should know the tension of your stitch, how it is, and how much you need to stretch it out or not, okay? Come into the first double crochet, so move the green a bit so you can get it right in there. Do your single, one, next space, two, next space, three singles. Chain three, come into the first single here, and slip stitch into the next space, single, one, two, and three, turn twice, and come in where you have your green, give it a nice stretch, take out two, take out two, and the last two, come in where you have your slip stitch, and do your single, so very simple, not more complicated than that. One more time. Come in, turn twice, double, triple. I believe that's what's called. Give it a nice stretch. Take out two, take out two, and the last two. Come behind, move your green a bit with your needle. And you have your um, double crochet here, your first double crochet. So single, one single, two single, and three single. 
one, two, and three. Chain, come into the first double crochet and slip stitch. Again, next space, one, single, two, single, three, single. Turn twice on your needle, come back down into the side and give it a nice little stretch. Take out two, take out two, and take out the last two. Come in between where you have your slip stitch and single. And of course, once it's all done and nice and pulled, stretched out, it's just perfect. And that does it for this video, my friends. Thank you so much again for being part of this journey. I hope you enjoyed this beautiful dolly for Christmas. It makes beautiful presents. And please give it those thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Don't forget to hit that bell notification. And do share with your friends and family on Facebook. Put it public. It does help to grow the channel. And follow me on Instagram. Everything will be below on the description box. Any questions, suggestions, please feel free to email me or leave in the comments or contact me through Instagram. Thank you, everyone. Sending you much love, much hugs. Be kind to people, always very important, and especially to yourself. Don't beat up on yourself too much. I usually do, and that's not good. Okay, take care, everyone. Bye-bye.